Okay, another polynomial inequality. x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x is greater than 0. We want to find all the x values such that this expression evaluates to something greater than 0, or think positive, a positive number. Well, this is going to be easiest if we think of this as a function and if we can factor it. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and factor this expression. That's going to be an x. I can get an x out of each term there. So it'll be x times x squared plus 2x plus 3. And we want to find all the places where that is greater than 0. All the x values that will give us a value of the function there greater than 0. OK, this, this piece right here is a quadratic. So we, that, that doesn't factor nicely, but we can still find the zeros of the quadratic, and we'll do that with the quadratic formula. So looking at these coefficients, a is 1, b is 2, and c is 3. So x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, which would be 4, minus 4 times a times c over 2a, which will just be 2. Now that works out to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 8 over 2. Now what we realize here when we see this negative 8 under the radical, that means that this quadratic has no real zeros. Okay, and that's significant. This quadratic, if we were just to graph this by itself, that would be a parabola that does not cross the axis. And the only way to have a parabola that doesn't cross the axis is for it to lie entirely above the axis, pointing upward, or opening upward, or entirely below the axis, opening downward. And in this case, for this quadratic, the x squared there is positive, which means it's a parabola opening upward. So this quadratic that we're looking at, just this part, not not considering this x right now, just that quadratic is a parabola that lies entirely above the x-axis. Like this. And the thing to note about that is that it is always positive. So when we go back and look at our original function, which we factored like this, we now know that this factor is always positive. Now we're trying to find where this is greater than 0, so let's just tack that onto the end there, greater than 0. Now what am I going to need to have this times this and have it be greater than 0? Well the only way to multiply two things together and have them be greater than 0 is to have them both be positive. They could both be negative, but we've established already that this is always positive. So both of these have to be positive. So in order for this to work, our, our problem simply becomes x is greater than 0. I'll spell this out for you. The quadratic x squared plus 2x plus 3 is always positive. And then I'll say, therefore, x times that will be positive when x is greater than 0. And that's your solution, very simple. You can just draw a number line, mark 0 on there, and graph all the numbers to the right of 0, not including 0. So use a parentheses there and shade everything to the right. You could also look at this graphically. I'll pull up the calculator and I put in the original function, x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x. And if we graph that, we can see on the graph where it is greater than 0. So I'll punch graph and the calculator draws it and there you see it goes right through the origin it has x equals 0 as one of its roots and we see that in our factors and it is positive it is up above the axis when x is greater than 0